Hey folks, my name is John Ridgway and welcome to the Styles High Point North Carolina facility. Over the next 20 minutes or so, I'm going to provide you with an overview of one of the newest and frankly coolest machines in the Homag lineup, which certainly has our team here buzzing. But before I do that, on behalf of all of my colleagues here in High Point, I want to say that we very much miss not having you join us here in person. This is one of the times of year where we would normally have many of you from all over North America standing on the elevated platforms to my right or around this facility while our team explains and demonstrates the latest trends and solutions available at our renowned Manufacturing Solutions Seminar. Sadly, for obvious reasons, you all can't be with me here today. However, be assured there will be a time when we can once again welcome you back to this fantastic facility and we can't wait. So with that, let me show you what all the excitement is about. So, this is the new HOMAG E310 CNC Processing Center. What does 310 mean? Well, let's think of it in the context of perhaps something you understand easier, like pickup trucks, right? So Ford, for example, they have the Ford Ranger, the F-150, 250, 350, and so on different trucks designed for different purposes. Similar to what we have. We have the 110 series machining center, processing center, the 210 series, the 310 series, the five and the six. Different machines, different features, different duty cycles. That's what we have here, 310. A processing center basically refers to the fact that we have a rail and part table on the machine versus a flat matrix. The flat matrix would make it a CNC router, really. The 310 series is available in a 4-axis or 5-axis configuration and it's available on three different lengths, a 3.3 meter, the 4.2 meter, which is the one we have behind me, and a 6 meter. And as far as overall width, working width front to back, it's available on two sizes, a 1.6 meter, which is what this is, and a 1.9 meter. So they're the basics. Now let's start to really drill down on what makes this thing really special. So, the E310 has many cool features. Three really cool features that we're going to discuss here today are the Drive 5 C Plus 5 axis unit, the new contour edge banding unit from the Homebank Group called the Power Edge Pro Duo, and the very latest version of their automatic positioning system called the A Flex Table. A lot of features, let's get to it. So one of the most important things in any CNC machine is safety. And this machine really does some really cool safety features we're going to discuss. As you notice, there are no safety mats in this machine. So I'm actually standing in an area which is being monitored by this device you see down here. That's called the Safe Scan Monitoring System. And what it allows it to do is the machine can operate in a pendulum process motion while the operator stands here. And that system is scanning the area the entire time and knows where the operator stands, which allows the machine to also wrap it in a higher rate, otherwise it would be in a much slower rate. Safe scan makes a huge difference to the overall productivity of the machine. In addition to that, we have safety fencing around the back and access doors on the rear corner to allow safe access to the machine to maintain it by the operator. There's also a great many operator assist tools with the machine. We're going to talk just about a few of them here in this session. One of the biggest and my favorite is the tool pickup and drop off station, which is right here. We know from our history that one of the biggest reasons of causes for crashes, collisions, incidents with the machine is when an operator makes a mistake. Hey, we're all human. We all make mistakes. Well, this device basically helps eliminate that from being an issue. Because what it does is when the operator needs to change a tool out of the machine, the machine goes and takes the tool that wants to be changed out of the machine's tool changer and drops it off right here. The operator would then go and take the tool, change out the cutting tool, and put it back in the station when it's done. The machine would then come over, grab that tool, do an automatic touch off for length verification, and then put it back in the right spot in the tool changer. By having the machine manage where that tool goes, you eliminate those potential crashes by having tools manually put in the wrong place on the tool changer. Also, you, you notice too, on the machine behind me, there are no foot pedals on the machine. We actually have 
a vacuum actuated bar here. What this does, this allows the operator's focus to be on load in the machine no matter what size of product they're working with without having to look where the foot pedal is on the floor. It's a very ergonomic feature. This machine also has a convenience package on it where there are buttons on the front of the machine's enclosure where the operator can physically drag and, and jog the machine left to right out of the way. They can pause the machine during the process and they can also raise and lower the dust hood to see what's going on. And you'll also notice also noticed too that the start stop buttons for each zone are ergonomically placed at the end of the extrusion for the end reference. That way we don't have to walk back to the machine's controller or the central pedestal to activate the cycles. So this is the HOMAG system tool changer as it's known. It's a new innovation for the HOMAG group and what makes it so different is the carousel tool changer which I'm sure you've seen before. But one of the biggest things with a carousel tool changer is when you fill the outer ring you lose capacity. So what HOMAG did is they come up with this really unique new design. You have 24 positions on the outside of the carousel and then you have an additional 8 positions inside the inner ring for smaller tools. So you gain capacity which would otherwise be wasted space. So this total tool change capacity is 32 back here. Now this particular machine also have, has a linear tool changer on the end with 8. And you can also have an option of secondary 10 position tool changer that goes by the spindle. So the total capacity on this machine will be 50 tool positions. But this system tool changer is really cool because you can see that we have the aggregates around the outside ring. And the unique orientation of the home ag tool change uh, disc itself allows the aggregates to take the minimal amount of space so you can still utilize the positions next to the aggregates. Really, really cool technology. Okay, so on our E310, we have a really cool feature to tell you about today. This is the Power Edge Pro Duo, and the Pro Duo is HOMAC's new contour edge processing unit. The Duo signifies that we have traditional hot mount EVA in this case, and HOMAC's AirTech technology all in one unit. You could also do PUR, we'd have a secondary application unit uh, which you'd pre-fill and preheat outside the machine and then you store it outside the machine if you needed to do that as well, uh, but it is capable of, of PUR. The benefit obviously to this now is we can do so many different types of edging, so many different applications that perhaps we couldn't do with EVA hot mount alone. We have easy access now to the, uh, the hot mount granular container which is here at the front. If I wanted to change out from a one color to another, I can just simply remove this or refill from the top if it starts to get low. Other cool features of the Power Edge Pro Duo. Uh, when you contour or edge banding apart at certain parts along that contour, you need to apply different amounts of pressure uh, depending on the radius that we're doing. On the previous Power Edge version, that was controlled by air, compressed air. This new Power Edge, what it does is the pressure along the contour is controlled by the Woodwop program itself. So we can define different pressures on different segments of the contour, which is really, really cool. Now, of course, we can also feed strips into this magazine. And this particular magazine is equipped with two coil change-out systems here. You can see them inside the, the main machine enclosure. I like that system a lot because I can have additional trays set out of the machine with my most popular edge band coils preset and basically hot swap those back in there uh, if and when I change over. I don't have to mess around with trying to change out the coil on the plate inside the machine. The machine also allows you to keep track of all the parameters specific to the banding that's being applied in the controller. So if I have a different glue temperature for a different type of edge band, right? Or if I have different types of parameters for the edge band, that flexible edge sequence control software allows me to track that and apply it when I'm using the edge band during the process. The machine also keeps track of the amount of linear footage of tape that's on the roll or the coil. That way you prevent having to have a situation occur where you're edge banding apart and you run out of tape midstream. This way the machine knows how much is left on the coil and will warn the operator before it tries to process that part that you're going to run out of tape on that coil. 
this thing is is really state-of-the-art technology it really is cool so to continue on with our tour of the features of this new e310 i'm going to tell you now about the new omag a flex auto positioning table this machine is equipped with eight consoles based on the machine length so the automatic positioning is going to position the consoles in the x-axis and also going to position the pods along the rail and that's not so much new where the new technology comes in with this aflex is previously on an automatic positioning table you'll be limited by how many pods you could put per rail sometimes it will be three sometimes it will be four depending on the configuration because this system does not use carriers on the rail anymore you don't have that limitation so you don't have that limitation as to how many parts you could put on the rail anymore. So for this new Aflex table, you can put up to six parts automatically positioned on the rail. And, which is really cool, you can use combinations of automatic positioning parts and manual parts as well. So it's so flexible because it automatic positions also allows you to use traditional 100 millimeter high case style clamps on the table as well. What's also cool is as the positioning system positions the parts along the rail, it'll clean the top surface of the K table itself. So if there's any dust or debris on there, it'll clean it as it's moving those parts along. Again, you choose the combination you want that works best for you. As it's flexible, you also have the LED assist system on the side of the rails as well. That allows you to utilize the machine as a manual positioning table if you want to do that as well. And you could also use high and low pressure auxiliary clamping systems for solid wood processing on the same table. So it truly is flexible. The machine's also got HPL lifting rails which aid with the loading and removal of parts on the machine. And most importantly, it's fully dynamic processing capable. And what I mean by dynamic processing is on a machining center, historically, you can have a set dimension, a maximum dimension you can machine on one side and the other before the machine becomes a single one big zone. Dynamic, as you probably guess from the term, means that the machine is flexible. It's not defined anymore. So I can do a small part here and a really long part on the other side and the machine will still be able to pinch on process ultimate flexibility of this new aflex table okay so to wrap all the technology up on this new e310 we can't forget the new power touch pc87 controller on this machine it has a 24 inch full high definition multi-touch display running windows 10. everything on this controller is driven around touch gestures the menus are all driven and sized appropriately for fingers and so I can just drag and drop directly onto the machine. There's a distinct absence of buttons. It makes it easy uh, for someone to walk up to and use a machine like this. And it's common. Common platform with the power touch between all the home mag group machines. This uses also the Woodwork programming system which is common across all of our CNC programs and it's backward compatible. So if you have programs from older machines, you can bring them forward to today's, uh, today's version of software without issues. There's also onboard maintenance on this using the MMR system, which will track the machine's usage and promptly operate it when certain parts of the machine need to be maintained. It'll promptly operate it when maintenance is required, and if the operator is unsure what to be maintained, there's a manual for the individual maintenance features built into the machine controller really really cool what about when an error occurs hey we all make mistakes machine can show you an error right how do we diagnose that well in the old days we used to have an error code and error description and you go looking for those machine manuals that were delivered with the machine when new and most of the time you couldn't find those manuals so now all that information is stored on the machine controller itself you can actually drill down to the individual information on the machine and it shows you where the issue is whether it's with a proximity sensor a valve for example really really cool technology it's fully tapio ready as well tapio being the common eco structure of the of the uh, woodworking industry 
this just plugs into Tapio and now you can have instant data about the machine's productivity on your mobile device. If you want a job cost to part before it even gets produced, you can use Woodmotion. Woodmotion is a virtual kernel type of software which looks at the individual machine itself and calculates machine motion, tool, cha tool change time and everything and gives you a very, very accurate cycle time before you even machine a part. And because we have so much technology on this new E310, 5-axis, the contour edge bander, the A-flex table, there's a software called Collision Control. And that will actually allow the operator or the programmer to run that virtual program before you actually cut apart. To make sure you're not going to collide with any type of clamps or fixtures on the machine. This really is state-of-the-art technology. So I've told you a lot about the E310. Now let's watch a little bit of a video footage of the machine in action. <laughs> 